Hello and welcome to my 11th C++ programming tutorial. My name is Eric and in today's episode we're finally going to learn about the do while loop in C++. Now in the previous tutorial, we last left off on creating a minimum voting age requirement checking program using a while loop. And this is how it went. So if we were to quickly compile this program and run it, it would show us the message, please enter your age. And then it would keep on asking that until we give it a value of 18 or older. So if we were to type in a few values, three, let's say six, and then let's say 10, let's say finally 24, which is greater than 18, it will change. And as you can see, it shows congratulations, you are eligible to vote. So one of the other topics that we left off of was, hey, I noticed that line 10 and 11 is the same as line 15 and 16. How come we have to be so repetitive? Can't we just remove these two lines and then simply compile them and have it do the same thing except two lines less? Well, no, because there would be build errors. And that is caused by the user age is not initialized at this point because we need a user age to be initialized in order to do the comparison in the first place inside the while loop in order for us to even run these lines of code. So in order to fix this where we use two lines less pieces of repetitive code, we would have to first learn about the do while loop. So if I were to push everything down here for a bit for a second, let's learn about the do while loop syntax. It goes like this, do followed by curly brackets and then while and then the parentheses, and finally a semicolon. And inside the do brackets, this is where you type in the statements that will repeat as long as the conditions inside the parentheses is true. So statements that you want to repeat goes in here. And then inside the parentheses, as usual, we put our conditional statement. So in our case, we would want to convert this entire program so it's using a do while loop instead of a while loop. How we might do that? Let's create a new project. So new project, and then let's say do while loop. You can name it whatever you want. And then next, empty project, finish. And then as we know, Inside the source files, we create a new item, make sure it's a CPP file, give it whatever name you want. I'll call mine main.cpp, which is pretty standard. So you know the drill, include I'll stream using namespace std, enter your main, followed by return zero. Whoops, return zero. Awesome. So. Let's create our variables that will store the age value. So integer user age, integer minimum voting age requirement equals 18. Again, if your country is different from 18 for the voting age requirement, then feel free to change the number 18 to whatever's appropriate for you. And then let's create our do while loop. Do this while this is true. Okay, so again, we want to ask the user for their age, and we want to ask that at least one time, no matter what. So in this case, let's see out that instruction. Please enter your age. And then see in user age. And then we would want the program to keep on asking the user these two lines of code until their age meets the minimum voting age requirement or is greater than the minimum voting age requirement. So to do that, we use user age less than minimum voting age requirement. And why less than? Same reason as last time. We want to run this as long as the user age does not meet the requirement, which is in this case less than the value of 18. So once the user's age meets the minimum voting age requirement, we would run this line of code, which is outside of the do while loop. Same idea as before with the while loop, except we're using a do while loop this time. So see out, congratulations, you are eligible to vote. Please proceed to the voting booth. So if we were to quickly run this program, 
it should give us a similar experience. So please enter your age, let's say five. As you can see, we're greeted with please enter your age again. So 10, and then finally, let's say 24, which is greater than 18. And there you go. It shows congratulations, you are eligible to vote. Please proceed to the voting booth. So that works. And let's say we want to do this again, except this time we'll type in the value correctly. So let's say 18. Bam, it shows congratulations, you are eligible to vote. Please proceed to the voting booth. And as you can see, this time we only have these two lines of code. And we don't have to type this outside of our loop. And that's because the great thing about the do while loop that makes it unique is that the do while loop guarantees that these statements inside the do portion to run at least one time no matter what. So if you are confused about when to use the do while loop versus a for loop versus a while loop, well, that's your answer. If you want your loop to run the statements inside of it at least one time, no matter what, then you use a do while loop. But of course, make sure the values inside does not rely on things that needs to be initialized beforehand. But in this case, our situation is okay because we're going to be initializing it inside the loop, which is fine because the condition runs after these statements get run by the program. And that concludes our tutorial for today's do while loop programming tutorial video. Thank you for watching and please hit that like button if you liked it and subscribe to stay tuned for more because the more interesting stuff of programming is right around the corner. In the next tutorial, we will be learning about the for loop. Again, thank you for watching and have a great day. See you next time. Bye bye.